Hi, I'm Michael Britt with Group Lone Star and Inbred Profiles, and I'm here today with my Valve Train Powertrain Stage 50, the Michael Britt Signature model. I put my name on it because uh, it's kind of what I've been using the line for the last month or so, and I love it. It just makes my Kemper sound like my Kemper, and it gives me uh, a tube amp feel, even though I'm using a nice little green digital box over here. So I, I, it's just the coolest marriage of technology to me because I've got my vintage tube sound from real tubes, but I also get the versatility, all my effects, all my different amp models uh, from the Kemper. So it just, it's working for me and uh, it's kind of like just the best of both worlds. I like running my Kemper through a tube power amp. I just think tubes push air a little different than, than a solid state power amp, which can be very linear sounding, but there's something where the sound just kind of jumps really, you know, with a little more immediacy with a tube power amp. I get all the different sounds, all the versatility of the Kemper, but I still feel like I'm playing a, a real tube amp. If I don't have a cab on stage, it just feels really empty and, and something missing. I like the interaction between pickups and a speaker, you know, you still get feedback just like you would any amp. They make a regular powertrain stage 50, but I've spent I don't know how many days just swapping speakers. They kept sending me speakers and I kept trying it. And basically a clean profile that I use live and just, I would play a few notes and just keep swapping speakers until it sounded just right. There were a couple that sounded good, but this one, hands down, every time I put this one back in the, in the box, it sounded perfect. It doesn't have a PA speaker, it doesn't have a horn, doesn't have crossovers. Those things to me always bugged me. I, I have really critical ears after listening to profiles for so many years. So I always felt like with any FR, some profiles sounded good and other ones just didn't. And this is way more consistent. 